So the Holy Father has added three new titles to the Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So I think it is only fitting that I share them with you so that when you're saying your prayers, you can add them if you remember, right? So this is how it um, goes. Mother of Mercy, that's one of the new titles. So that comes after Mother of the Church. So you're saying Mother of the Church, Mother of Mercy. Then you have Mother of Hope. And that comes after you say Mother of Divine Grace. So you have Mother of Divine, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother of Hope. Then Comfort of Migrants. That comes after Refuge of Sinners, Comfort of Migrants. Let's go again. We have Mother of Mercy after Mother of the Church. Mother of Divine Grace. And then you put Mother of Hope. Refuge of Sinners, Comfort of Migrants. So this is just how it's supposed to, to look and supposed to say. So you're praying, Mother of the Church, Mother of Mercy, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother of Hope, Refuge of Sinners, Comfort of Migrants. So when you're saying your prayers, do not be afraid to add them. More prayers now to say, right? So we thank God for that. We thank God for the life of our Blessed Mother. We thank God for the life of women. We thank God and we ask God in his goodness to look kindly upon us, to bless us, to guide us. That's all we want God to do. Bless us and guide us, keep us safe. I keep remembering the elderly who watch this program that Father in heaven, you continue to bring your hand of solace upon them. Remove all their aches and pains, whether it be physical, emotional, or perhaps they are social, they are perhaps lonely, and they don't know what to do, where to turn. Jesus, you come to be their friend so that they would be able to turn to you, as we say, in good times and when times are not so good. And you would be their constant so support, refuge. Be with them, guide them, and bless them along the right path. We thank God for all those who are sick and ailing, that Jesus, you would be their source of refuge. Again, we bring the young people. Not many of them look at this chart. I could just imagine. Nonetheless, they are our children, and we bring them before you, and we ask you, Father, in your goodness, keep them focused. Help them to study their work. Help them to inculcate good values, morals, principles, so that they will grow up as good, solid citizens of this republic. And so, Father, we ask you to continue to bless us, continue to guide us, continue to love us and support us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.